Well, hello guys, this is Dan Giles here, and today we got a little project here at the house. I've got to replace the ice maker in my KitchenAid refrigerator. You can see it right here behind me. It's down in that drawer at the bottom. So, I'm going to try to set up my camera in the freezer so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Now, I've gone through the steps to make sure that I have water going to the refrigerator. I've gone through the steps to make sure it's coming out of the water dispenser, which is right inside the door. Here, I'll show you. This is my dispenser right here, the button. So I do have water here. And I've gone through and done the steps, checking the ice maker itself to make sure it's got water or ice in it. And it does have ice in there. It's just that the ice maker itself is no longer cycling and it's keeping the ice in there and not giving me any ice. So we will get set up and I'll show you the steps that I'm going to take to replace the ice maker. Well, I don't know if we're going to get a good shot of the ice maker in here, but uh, what we've got is a couple of quarter inch screws that we got to loosen on the top. And I'll show you that ice maker here in a second. And we got to take one out that's on the bottom. So the ones on the top, we just need to loosen them up. Got my quarter inch nut driver. I'll try to see if I can see this. And I just want to loosen that one. Find that head and loosen that one. Just enough so we can lift it off of the little keeps and then the one on the bottom like I said that's got to come completely out and as you can see here this is our ice maker the two screws that are holding this ice maker on the, on the side wall are here and you can see they're slotted so that you can, in theory, leave those screws in place and all you'd have to do is just pull this ice maker up. However, it does have a third mounting screw here that mounts permanent, so that one is why it has to come out completely. When you go to do the wire harness, when you unplug it, you can see these little clips right here they're going to have to be pulled up and off of the harness itself that go into this so that you can pull this plug out. Now, you won't have to mess with these a whole lot when you're plugging them back in because they'll slip over the, the little keepers and they'll snap into place. You just want to make sure that you're getting it plugged in like it's supposed to. It's probably going to go in one way. It's probably only going to go in one way. But before you pull the old one out, go ahead and make sure that you've got black, brown, green, and white. If that's the order that it plugs into the wall this way, well then you know that that's how you're going to have to do it. One of the things you'll want to make sure that you're checking is your freezer temperature. Anywhere from 0 to 5 degrees is perfect. It will make ice up to 15 degrees, but it's going to slow that process because it does rely on the freezing to be down around zero before it's gonna give you a good ice production. All right, so I got my old ice maker out. And as I said, it's got, I don't know if you can see it, but there is ice in there. And it's stuck in the harvest position. It won't go any further. It looks like the second set of rakes are stuck down in the ice cube so it's stuck in between the cycle we definitely have water going to it so that's the reason for replacing this ice maker one of the things you definitely want to do is the fill tube back here in the back i don't know if you can see that but you want to look at that inspect it make sure you don't have any ice build up in that because that could cause you to not fill like it's supposed to this should be an easy process we're just going to put it in here Set it on those, set it on those two little studs. Make sure you're lining your fill tube up. It's 
so that it goes into that little bucket and there that one is in place we'll put the screw on the bottom of it plug it in and then we'll come back when we start making some ice all right so i just got finished buttoning up this ice maker i got it put in place as you can see my bucket is empty and it just went through a fill cycle so it's already started up so as soon as we get some ice i'll come back and i'll show you that well as you can see we got ice and it's a good thing so we put that in probably at about quarter after 3 p.m and it took a little while for that ice maker to cool down and do what it was supposed to do so probably about 4 30 it made the first batch so an hour and a half hour and 15 minutes something like that and uh, so now i'm timing it to see how regular it it produces this ice now so i would think anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes maybe even an hour cycle so i'll time it and we'll see what happens all right, we've had four cycles now, and it's taken roughly about 45 minutes. Look, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button down there below. I'd really appreciate that. And give me a thumbs up if this video has helped you, and be sure to leave me a comment. Give me your experiences with your ice maker, either at work or at home. All right, this is Dan Giles. I'll see you in the next video.